Got it, got it, got it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Wednesday's training. Uh, we like to connect here and answer questions and do specific trainings according to the questions that we receive. So if you have questions, please make sure you're putting them inside of the Facebook group or letting Christine know, hey, I need this question answered and I'll address it here on our call. That's what I am here for. Um, today, I'm going to answer someone's question kind of in length uh, and make it a training for you. <clears throat> and the reason I'm doing it in this way is because I think it's going to benefit everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's going to be benefit everybody uh, to answer this question in depth. And then again, I'm going to be here live. So if you have questions and you're on the live, say hello so I know who I'm talking to. And uh, let me know what your questions are as we move forward. <clears throat> Today is all about being a wholesaler or realtor. Okay, do, do I have to get my license first? Um, can I just wholesale? What is wholesale? What is being a realtor? Like all of that we're going to address today um, in this training and how to get around certain things, not to be evasive, but by law is the way that I work by law, by tax law, by attorney law, by state law. Like that's, that's how you work in this industry. However, there's loopholes. So I'm going to point those out to you. And so that you can get the best um, A out of this training and the best out of the situation that you're in. So let me know where you're at. Are you a licensed realtor? Are you a wholesaler? Are you looking to do one or the other? Uh, here's what I find is that a lot of people think that they need to get a real estate license in order to do real estate. Let me know if that is you. Type it in the comments. Uh, first and foremost, I want to welcome the new members into the group. Uh, but we have quite a few of you here. Let me see if I can grab the names here from my team. We have, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. I could read. <laughs> um, Carolyn. Carolyn Vigil, uh, Sarah, uh, Anita, Christina, uh, Melissa, Teresa, Leanne, Jennifer, Betty, Linda, Misha, uh, Fadisa, Fredisa. I'm sure I just butchered that one, but I apologize. Please let me know if I got that correct or not in the chat. Um, Sherry, uh, Victoria, Liliana, and Sherla, hopefully I got everyone's name right. I want to send you lots of love and welcome you inside of the Facebook group. Um, we do have a free training as you're coming in here. You answered the questions in into getting to know how I help women create over 5 million in real estate across the nation uh, and the ditch the, the bank method, right? So there's a secret sauce in the cheat sheet that we have for you. Um, so reach out to Christine. Christine is our team member. Christine, say hello in the chat so that they know that you're here. Um, if let me see if I can pull this up live. Bah, bah, bah. All right. Let me pull up live so I could see you guys and answer your questions. Um, but Christine will have your information. And you could just ask it. Um, Dana says she's in Dallas. Got it. Um, you can ask her for that in the DM or here, right in the chat. Either way, you can pull it up. All right. Okay. So um, basically, if you we train on beginner, intermediate, and scale. Okay. So depending on where you're at is the resources she's going to point you in that direction. So type in the comments right now. If you are uh, B for beginner, I for intermediate, like you know some things, maybe you closed on one, um, or scale, like I have closed on six properties, um, I'm here to scale, I'm making a business out of this, I'm creating a portfolio, I want more properties. So uh, what it, whichever it is, we've got resources for you. So type in the comments which one it is for you and so that we can give you the best resources. Again, Christine will be looking in your messenger. So if you go down your message list, you might not see her. If you're not friends, go over to your message request and you'll find her hiding in there. She's um, probably, uh, most likely sent you a welcome message 
uh, if she caught you coming in uh, or not. Um, maybe you just got in a few hours ago, so give her a minute. But um, if you uh, type into her DM, you will get the free training and any other resources um, with a few questions. We'll like, we'll know exactly what to give you. So connect with Christine. She's happy to make sure that you have everything here in the group. Again, we're here to answer questions. So if you have any questions, type them in the comments. Today we were talking about wholesaler or realtor. That is the question. A lot of times, so the reason I'm doing this is, I mean, I just recently, I get this all the time, but just recently, yet again, got another question. Should I get my real estate license in order to do real estate investing? And the answer is no, you do not need to, plain and simple. And all these rears just went up, I know, because uh, some of you said, but Joanna, in this state, you need to have your license to wholesale. True. Uh, you got it. However, I'm going to give you a loophole in just a second here. Um, as we move forward, I'm wanting to make sure you guys understand exactly what is a, what is the definition of a wholesaler? Someone asked me that uh, earlier. A wholesaler is someone who buys at a discount and sells at a discount to an end buyer, okay? I think I wrote the definition here when I looked it up. It's uh, real estate wholesalers are the middlemen who bring together homeowners and distressed houses and investors who want to have below market real estate deals that they can make a profit on. So the fix and flipper, right? Um, so basically a realtor offers buyers and sellers to get together, okay? Um, wholesale is actually a great way to get started, but you don't have to do it. And this is what I teach my clients as they come in, they typically think they need to wholesale, but once they talk to me, they realize they don't have to wholesale and they're like, phew, I don't need a real estate license. I don't need to be a wholesaler. I can go straight to buy and hold. Yes, you can. And that's the plan that I give them. So if that's something that you're looking for, type plan in the comments and we'll reach out to you and get the uh, time together so you can get a customized plan. Okay. So, um, but what is a real estate agent? Let's stay on topic here. What is a real estate agent? A real estate agent, I looked up the definition just to be specific, right? Um, a real estate agent and real estate agent and realtor are the same thing. They could do the same thing. It's just that one pays um, Nardus and one doesn't really. It's, it's not much, it's not difference. So a real estate agent is a licensed professional qualified to help clients buy and sell property. They use knowledge of the local market, property values, and negotiation skills to facilitate real estate transactions for buyers and sellers. It's the same thing as being a wholesaler, right? It's the same thing. So why would you spend all that time and money getting your license? All right, you tell me, type it in the comments. Let me know why you would want your license. I'm a licensed realtor, don't get me wrong. I'm a licensed realtor and I've been licensed since the year 2000. And I gotta tell you, I make way more money on the investor side than I ever did. And I have my time freedom um, being on the investor side versus the realtor side. So um, I am a licensed realtor in California. Uh, I live in Pennsylvania, so I don't practice anymore. Um, and it's fine with me because I'm building my portfolio. I don't need a license for it. And I teach ditch the bank methods. So you're not having to worry about um, qualifying with the bank or having a ton of cash. Okay. So a uh, real estate agent, just so that we're clear, is pretty much the same thing as a wholesaler. One's licensed, one's not. Everybody get that? Okay, good. So um I don't know, maybe let me know why you have your license inside of the chat. I think Zaina was in there. She is a realtor in Dallas. I know that one for a fact. All right. So one of the reasons I was a realtor, it was I thought that was the way to get into real estate. Okay. I thought it was a way to get into real estate. It's really not. It's really not. It could be a gateway if you think of it that way. Um, However, I mean, he goes straight to being a real estate investor. I got my license and I, I know that as a licensed realtor, and I have plenty of realtors that have joined my program, my mastermind program, and 
they have a different way of thinking. They're trained to think differently from their broker, from the state test, from tradition, through all the society of what a realtor is, right, versus an investor. And it's really difficult to switch sometimes. Some, some get it pretty easy, but others are like, no, you have to go to the bank. You need a pre-approval. No, no, no. <laughs> I know, I know, I get it, I get it. You don't need all of those things that a realtor says that you need. Okay. Um, it's just their way of qualifying you. It's it, some of the things that they say that you need, you don't. Okay. Um, so I liked being a realtor um, because when I'm doing, when I first go out, I look at a deal at, with investor eyes and not every deal makes sense. Right. So what's the right deal for me? Maybe uh, not a right deal for you and vice versa. Right. So if it's not a good deal for me, I'm just going to list it. So that's a benefit to being a realtor. You get listings. OK, now there are realtors out there that will not have anything to do with real estate investors. Trust you me. <laughs> I've worked with hundreds of realtors and some of them are so snippy about investors. They don't want anything to do with them. OK, and it's we make a lot of offers and we create a lot of work. And I'm sorry, you have to work for a living. Um, that's my opinion because I'm an actual licensed realtor. I've been through it and I've seen it. Okay. Um, that's where I come from that opinion. Okay. A lot of realtors don't want to work. They just want to, to have a listing and collect the paycheck. They don't want to do any of the work. I've ran across plenty of those. Okay. And those are usually the ones that work. Um, they focus on first time home buyers and don't want anything to do with investors. Okay, they get a the high end house or the highest priced house, and um, they make a good commission check. They're just chasing commission checks, just like wholesalers. Wholesalers are commission, uh, chasing wholesale fees, right? So same thing. You're unemployed at the end of every escrow period. So um, I found some advantages. There were some tools that we have advantages of as a realtor, as like a insider. Um, but as a licensed realtor, I was not in real estate. I was a servicer of real estate tools, if you will. I was a servicer of tools. I was not in real estate. That's the difference between a realtor and an investor. An investor is actually in the thick of the deal, right? It is a, um, and building their portfolio and making money. <clears throat> so those are the the slight differences. I know it all kind of seems to blend together a little bit. And please, realtors out there, don't send me hate mail because I'm bashing on realtors. I'm a licensed realtor. I get it. Um, there's such great advantages to being a realtor if you want business as a realtor. Now, there's plenty of people that get their license because they want to be a real estate investor. They don't want to be a traditional realtor. Okay. So just know the difference. There's differences in those. Not every realtor is created equally. Know who you're talking to, which is why in my program, we go over exactly how to qualify realtors to work with you. Okay. To work with you so that you're getting the maximum out of the, um, the maximum data, maximum service, and they're finding deals for you. Okay, so um, really qualify them when you're talking to realtors. Okay, in some places that you do, if you're going to be a wholesaler, okay, there are some places where you do need to be licensed um, to wholesale. And all of that is because the state wanted their money. <laughs> They're like, how are you guys making money? And, and you guys didn't pay us. You're supposed to be a licensed realtor. So they made a law. I think the very first place to do this was Illinois, okay? Illinois is one of the first places to make it illegal to wholesale without a license, okay? So this is just wholesale, not the rest of the strategies, just wholesale, okay? Because wholesale is very much like being a realtor. And the realtors pay fees to the state, and so the state gets paid. So the state found out wholesalers or skipping that part of it and said, oh, let's make that illegal. And now they have to come over here and get a license. That's all that is, okay? 
Um, anyway, so some of the states that I know of, Illinois was one of the first ones. I wrote down a few here. Oklahoma is another one that prohibits wholesalers from acting like a realtor. Okay, that's the key word, acting like a realtor. Uh, Texas, wholesaling is legal, but it has some restrictions. Um, does not, the law requires wholesalers to have a real estate license or work under a licensed broker. So it has some um, certain restrictions on it, but it's not completely prohibited, all right? Um, Georgia is another state that prevents unlicensed individuals acting as real estate brokers or salespersons. Again, this is key in the verbiage here. Ohio, um, Florida, Maryland, um, heavily regulated in Maryland, it says here, okay? New Jersey, North Carolina. Oh, they just imposed, sorry, North Carolina, just, they imposed heavy regulations. It is not illegal, okay? That's the difference. Pennsylvania, that's where I'm at. Um, subject to regulations. So again, know the state that you're in, know the paperwork that is needed, know how to work the system, if you will. And I'm not saying get around it or be evasive. I'm saying know your system so that you can work with it. <laughs> Okay, so um, again, all this is because the state just wants piece of the pie. So if you are set up to do business, uh, to do uh, wholesaling as a business, you will need a license. So if that's you, that's who I'm talking to. If you're not looking to make wholesale a business, then don't worry about this. Just disregard this whole training. <laughs> um but I get a lot of questions about this. Do I need to get my license? Do I need to get my license? And it depends. It's always my answer, right? It depends. That's why I asked you to put in the comments, am I a beginner? Am I an intermediate? Like I've done some deals or I am ready to scale and build my portfolio. Okay, let me know where you feel you are at in the game and we'll provide you with the rest, uh, the best resources accordingly, okay? Um, so the reason I do so much of this and the reason why I even started training at all years ago was wholesalers suck, right? Wholesalers just suck. <laughs> I'm going to say that as loud and proud as I can because I just don't. Um, but they don't understand ARV. They don't know how to comp out properties properly. Even some realtors don't know how to. I was actually just talking to a realtor who was frustrated because another realtor has horrible comps, right? So, um, I mean, they're all over. Uh, it is not a very heavily regulated way of co comparable. So comps is comparables, okay, if you're asking. Um, and they don't understand, wholesalers do not understand repairs to the magnitude that they should in order to sell a deal. Now, here's the caveat on a real, realtor side, is a realtor does not need to know repairs. They usually have resources like contractors, handymen, you know, inspectors, whatever, they can go do that and get an estimate for them. Which is what I highly recommend to do as well, is leverage your time and money and your knowledge, right? Get, get a professional's opinion. Um, wholesalers tend to not do that. They tend to guess because they don't want to spend any money, number one. Number two, they typically don't have the resources. said, well, I'm not buying it, so why should I do that? They're acting like a realtor who doesn't do that, right, and expects the buyer to go get do their due diligence, get a professional in there, pay for the professional to get a bid on any work that needs to be done. Again, wholesale, realtor, not too different, okay? And... So I started training on uh, how to do wholesale deals. I've done a ton of wholesale deals um, that made sense to people, like down to the, the nuance of running numbers. And that's what we're doing in the Ditch the Bank Accelerator right now. Next week is, is all about running the numbers and repairs. So, so that it is a no-brainer. So I, um, in speaking to, you know, hard money lenders and like the hybrid type they're, they're not really hot, uh hard money and they're not really private money lenders they're kind of like this hybrid in between 
Uh, they're not institutionalized is what I'm what I'm saying. It's a group of people um, that lend together. So I'm talking to them, they're like, oh my God, you're really good with your numbers. And even uh, some regular lenders are like, you're really good with your numbers. Not like you came out with exactly what I would have come out with, right? So I've heard that over and over again. And so that gives me the confidence to know that I'm doing it right. It comes out right. My numbers have come out right several times over the years. I think I got this down. <laughs> and so I started training. I'm going, Listen, you as a wholesaler need to understand repairs. You're telling me it's 15,000. You're trying to sell me a property, right? So this is why I got frustrated. You're trying to sell me a property, telling me it's 15,000 in repairs. You send it over to me and I'm looking at it. It's like 80,000 in repairs. And your after repair value is not even close. So I might make $10,000 on this deal. So no, thank you. Here, keep your crap. That's been my story so many times. I can't even tell you. Wholesalers suck. <laughs> so I bring you guys into my training so that you can learn the numbers. If you're going to wholesale, let's do it right so you can get deals done and closed. And the best thing about this, the way I teach how to do wholesaling, is um, you set it up to where the end buyer, whether it's a fix and flipper or a landlord, because you could do it to both. Most people don't think that way. They just think fixing flippers, right? Um, you could do it to both. But knowing what they want, right? And presenting it to them. So it's a no-brainer. They're like, oh my God, this is a great deal. I could do it for cheaper. And you're like, great. Just pay me my 10 grand and I'll get you the next one. Right? So um, doing wholesaling is an art. And I teach uh, my students the art of wholesaling, the art of the deal, really. Whether you wholesale it, you flip it, or you hold it, there's the negotiation, the art of the deal, and all the nuances that go with it that make it a win-win for everybody. So <clears throat> if you have questions around that, let me know. But I hope this has been helpful for you to understand whether you need a license or you don't need a license to be a realtor right? So to wholesale or to be a realtor was the question, right? I hope this answered in a very long-winded way, the benefits of being a realtor, the cons of being a realtor, we have to disclose it to everybody. And sometimes people think we're being salesy because we, we're trying to invest on our own, but we have to disclose we're licensed. Or, oh, you just want a listing. No, I really want the deal. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so that I've run into that a few times and then the advantages of being a wholesaler is you don't have to disclose you know having to be a realtor you you're just free to be able to um, get a hold of it put it in contract and then serve your end buyers so the key on that is to serve your end buyers not go out there get a bunch in the contract and then you don't have and buyers, this is why the law has come into play, by the way, is because so many wholesalers got in the contract and they didn't close on it and pissed off the realtors, pissed off the sellers, pissed everybody off, right? Wholesalers pissed everybody off, even the end buyers, because they don't know their numbers. So they're not going to buy. Uh, don't be that person. Get educated. Get in here, ask questions, get educated so that people want to buy from you. All right. If you want to be a realtor, if you like doing weekends and you like doing uh, evening showings to people um, and then occasionally getting listings and having access to all the tools as a realtor, go for it. But you don't need it. So don't waste your time and money. OK. Um, and that uh, loophole, right, is actually having things in an LLC and then selling off your LLC. OK, so you're selling a business. You're not wholesaling a deal. Anyways, I hope this is helpful. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to go check and see if I have any questions over here. I see Christina in there. Please reach out to Christine. Um, and Zena says, same, it was a way to start. Yep. So Zena says, it was a way to start. Very true. A lot of Asians are not familiar alternative financing. They're not. They're just not. I'm so glad you said that, Zena. Everyone knew Zena. She's in Dallas. If you need a realtor, you need boots on the ground. Um, reach out to her, send her a DM, say, hey, I'm looking in Dallas. Can you help me? 
and then she'll get you set up with what you need. Again, put in there uh, B for beginner, I for intermediate, S for scale in the chat here, or send Christine, she's in here in the chat right now. You can send her a message and go, look, what resources do you have for me as an intermediate type of investor? I want to do buy and hold um, with no money out of my pockets and not qualifying with the bank. How does that work? Right? Send her a message and uh, we'll get you set up. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. You are super welcome. We will talk on the next training. Bye.